Hey crafters, for today's DIY, we will be making a mirror vase and box. I will list materials used in the description below. I received several questions on how to make these on Facebook and Instagram, so I decided to add three more mirror vase ideas. Let's jump right in and let's get crafty! We will begin with making a square box and glue together with a hot glue gun. You will need five candle holder mirrors, which you can find at Dollar Tree. And notice I did not remove the foamy little circles on the mirror. That's because this one will be a vase. We applied extra glue inside for extra support. Hubby is the one gluing these for me, cause he's a crafter as well and he's not too bad at it in case you haven't noticed the hands. And he's adding glue on the inside cause you don't want your mirror glued on the outside or else your squares won't line up. Make sure you get every spot so there's no opening. And if your glue goes through, it's okay cause I used a razor blade to remove any extra glue on the outside. As you're adding glue, hold as it dries then proceed to gluing the rest. Oh, and I didn't remove the stickers on these mirrors, but if you want to remove them, you can just do so with some Goo Gone and a razor blade. I didn't do it because this one is just gonna be a vase and you're not really gonna see the inside. Go back and seal any extra openings that you see. Clean your mirror and now we're ready to add some decals from Dollar Tree. These are not translucent but I still like the way they looked on the glass. If you have to cut some of the words a little bit smaller, do so so they fit in your square. If you do find some wall decals that are translucent, those look awesome on the glass. Unfortunately, I've been checking my Dollar Tree and they haven't gone any more in. You will see what they look like later on in this video. For this first face, I'll be adding some flowers that I have already placed in a foam. I added a plastic bag, some carton, and then my flowers on a foam so I didn't use that much foam. Okay, and here's what the translucent wall decals look like. I will turn this one into a storage box. Since this box is already glued, we will move on to adding some felt to the inside. I bought this one at Michael's. It was about $1.99 per sheet and it peels and sticks. And don't forget to use your coupon. You may also use a regular felt. Just glue it on with the glue gun. When you're adding your felt, start by your edges. Line it up and work your way inside. On this box, I did remove all of the foam circles that were on the mirrors, and I'm doing the same for this mirror, which will be the lid of our storage box. I'm adding felt on the lid also so it looks neater and so it closes better. Oh, and these detailing scissors are so helpful for cutting smaller areas. I will include link below. For the handle, I'm actually using this large bead, or whatever it's called, from an older necklace I don't use anymore. Hey, whatever works, right? And I'm gluing with E6000 glue because it's stronger. And this is what the inside of my storage looks like. I really love the outcome. For a simpler look, add some greenery to your vase. Whether a vase or a storage box, these look beautiful. Make sure to like and subscribe for more DIYs and turn on your notification bell for more inspiration. Stay crafty!